Okay, so let's start the lesson for today. So it's logarithm. Okay, actually previously I have done, uh, I think I've done one live or two live before on logarithm as already. So today is other, uh, it's another set of logarithm questions again. Okay. So let's do it. Okay, so take a look at question 1a. You can see that they say given that log xy over log yx minus 4 is equals to 0. The objective is you are make, you are, they want you to make y the subject. Express y as a power of x. So let me write out the question first. So it's log xy over log yx equals to, this is 0. Ah. Minus 4 bring over, I just write 4 over 1. You can see that this logarithm, this is base x, this is base y. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to make base x, okay? So we will change, use change of base. Huh? So at the side, I'm going to state what is the change of base method at the side here. Huh? So let's say for example, if I have log 5, 8, for example, I want to change it to base 2, example, okay? Just put a fraction, I want to change to base 2. The 8, you put it at the numerator. The 5, you put it at the denominator. So this is how you change of base. You can change to any base you want. Okay. So for this case, I want to change to base x. So it means that I will only change this y. Huh? But before I do that, I'm going to do my cross multiply first. So cross multiply, I will have my log xy equals to 4 log yx. So I'm going to change these to base x. So what I'm going to do is put 4, put a bracket, uh, put a fraction, change to base x, change to base x, and what should be at the numerator? x should be at the numerator, so it's here. Denominator is y, so you put y here. And you should know that log aa is, uh, log xx is 1, uh, so at the side here, you should know that log aa gives you 1. So for example, if it's log 3, 3, it is 1. So for this case, it's log x, x, so it's equals to 1. Okay? So it means this will become 4, 1 over log x, y. Okay? So this one just copy down, no change, no change. So if I'm going to now, I'm going to put it as cross multiply. Uh. If you're going to cross multiply, you will get what? Uh, wow, I need a little bit no space. Uh. Okay. It will become log xy equals to 4 over log xy. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, a bit squeezy. So I'm going to put it here. Ah. Okay. I'm going to put it here. Uh. So if I'm going to cross multiply, it will become log xy. Take note, uh, this is... 2 of the same, so it's actually square equals to 4. Huh? So I'm going to square root both sides. So take note, when you square root, you will have plus minus. So I will have log x y equals to 2 or log x y equals to negative 2. You're supposed to make y as object. So now push up, push up. So it become y is equals to x to the power of 2 and push up. So it will be y equals to x to the power of negative 2. So y is equals to 1 over x squared. Okay, so you should have two answers for this. Huh? Okay, so now let's do the next question. Huh? Today I'm doing a math logarithm. Okay, solve the equation blah blah blah. Okay, I'm going to write the question here again huh, because I accidentally cancelled off this one. So it will be log 5, 2x minus 1, minus log 5, 2x plus 1, equals to 1 plus log 5, 1 over 7. Okay? So the objective is I want them to be the same base. The left hand side is already good enough. Why? Because it is the same base 5. And then it's minus. So logarithm law tells you that when it is same base and it's minus, you can combine to a single logarithm. So it becomes log 5, 2x minus 1 over 2x plus 1. 
And how about this one? So you need to know how to change one whole to logarithm. Okay, remember, it's like working backwards. Huh? Look here. So log 3, 3 is 1. So I want to, I have base 5. So it means the 1 will be log 5, 5. So this is actually log 5, 5. Plus log 5, 1 over 7. The right hand side, same base now. It's plus. So when you plus, means that you can combine to a single logarithm and change them to multiply. So it's log 5, 2x. See, uh, 5 times 1 over 7 is 5 over 7. Uh. 5 times 1 over 7 is 5 over 7. So you can see now that both sides are single logarithm. You can just remove the log 5. So therefore, it becomes 2x minus 1 and 2x plus 1 is equal to 5 over 7. Okay, so a little behind you can see that I will do two more questions which is similar to this. Uh. It's just a slightly different number. So cross multiply is just a normal equation. So you have 7, 2x minus 1 equals to 5, 2x plus 1. So you're going to rainbow. So you have 14x minus 7 equals to 10x plus 5. This become a linear equation. So throw all the x to the left hand side, throw the number to the right hand side. So 14x remain minus 10x. 5 remain, minus 7 bring over plus 7. So you have 4x equals to 12, so my x is equals to 3. Done. Okay, so this is how you solve logarithm equation. Change them to the same base, and you must know how to change number back to logarithm, depending on uh, what is it. Uh, for example, if, let's say today, uh, example, if this is 2, okay, if it's 2, how are you going to change it to base 5? It will become 2 log 5, 5. You understand? If it's 2 whole, it will be 2 log 5, 5. Because we know log 5, 5 is 1. And it means that it will become log 5, 5. Power law brings up this is uh, 5 squared. So it becomes log 5, 25. Okay, this is just additional info. Huh? When I box up red color, means that it is not related to the question, but it is concept that is uh, related. Okay, so that's for question 1B, yeah? 1B. Logarithm is taught in sec 3, A math. Okay, so now let's take a look, yeah, sec 3, sec 4. Some school teach, most of them teach in sec 3, okay, some school teach in sec 4. But it's definitely uh, sec, upper sec, A math lah. Okay, next. Now I'm going to write a question here. So log 42y minus log 16y minus 3 equals to 3 log 42. So every time you want to solve logarithm equation, you have to make them into single logarithm. But now there is a bad news is I have base 4, I have base 16, I have base 4. So you need to know how to recognize what is the lowest base. So some students tell me, I can, I can I change all to base 2? Uh? Yes, actually you can. But what for you need to change them to base 2 when in the end you have to change 3 of them. Okay, for this case, I can change the 16 to become 4 to the power of 2, right? So I only need to change the second term here to base 4. So my log 4, 2y will remain, no need to change. Now I'm going to change this to base 4. So write log 4, log 4 y minus 3 will be at the top 16 will be at the denominator and this one is not considered single logarithm yet uh, because I need to bring my 3 up power log so it will look like log 4 2 to power of 3 ok see how I change my 16 uh? so log 4 2y remain the same this one no change no change this one become log 4 4 2 ok because 4 squared is 16. Huh? So this one I can just write as 8. Because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Huh? So take a look at the bottom here. So log 4, 16. I change to log 4, 4, 2. And the 2 I can bring it to the front. So actually this the denominator now become 2 whole. Agree? So it will become log 4, 2y minus 
log 4y minus 3 over 2 equals to log 4a. So I have a denominator too. So for easy, for easy way of uh, solving the equation, we will make it flat. So I'm going to just, because it's an equation, I can multiply a 2 throughout. Multiply 2 throughout. Uh. So this one become 2 log 4 2 y. This one times 2 no more the denominator. So it becomes log 4 y minus 3. This one become 2 log 4 8. Okay, and you, can, you, you might ask me, do I have to write so many steps? Okay, I write so many steps for you to understand how, how, how I derive. Uh. I don't want to skip too much steps. If not, some students will get lost. Huh? Why do you change this? Why do you change that? Okay, so I write the, uh, the detailed step. Uh. So now you see, I'm going to bring 2 to the power. Okay, so it becomes log 4. Okay, kids, be careful. Uh. Uh, log 4, 4, 2. Over here, see here. Uh. Okay, I'm going to just write the side here. Log 4, 16. It is log 4, 4, 2. Read, 4 squared is 16. Then I bring the 2 in front, so it's 2 log 4, 4, so it becomes 2, 1, that's why it's 2. Okay? Two log four four is two, not two log four four is one. Huh? Okay, understand why the denominator is two now? Why cannot log four two? Huh? Why cannot log four then two y minus three? I don't understand. You mean change to base two or what? Okay, anyway. So now I'm going to times 2 throughout, right? Because my denominator is 2 already. Eh? So I'm going to times 2 throughout. So it becomes 2, da 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 da, okay? So now I'm going to bring this 2 up. So kids, be careful that this 2 belongs to the 2y. Eh? So it should be 2y square. Eh? Power law, the 2 bring up, so it's 2y square. Eh? So don't write 2y square without the bracket. Eh? Okay, so minus log 4y minus 3 equals, bring up, so it becomes log 4, 8, 2. Yes, look at the red one. I already explained how I changed my log 4, 16. Huh? Okay, so over here it will be log 4, 4y square minus log 4y minus 3 equals to log 4, 64. So my left hand side now is ready to combine into a single logarithm. So it becomes log 4 because it's minus, so it becomes divide. So it's 4y squared over y minus 3 equals to log 4, 64. So now both sides already single logarithm, right? Remove the log 4, so it becomes 4y squared over y minus 3 equals to 64 over 1. Yes, so far we move the log. It must be the same base. Huh? Okay, so then after that, cross multiply. So I have 4y squared equals to 64y minus 3. Rainbow, rainbow. 4y squared equals to 64y minus 1i2. So this is a quadratic equation. So throw everything to the left hand side. So it's 4y squared minus 64y plus 1i2 equals to 0. So we are supposed to, I can reduce this by dividing by 4. So it becomes y squared minus 16y plus 48 equals to 0. So let's factorize this. Uh, okay, I'm going to write here. So it will be y squared plus 48 minus 16y. So this is y and y. We will have 12 and 4 because this is minus, so it's minus, minus. Minus 4y minus 12y. Check, correct. Check, correct, and correct. So in the end, we will get y minus 12, y minus 4 equals to 0. Where we will get y minus 12 equals to 0 or y minus 4 equals to 0. So y equals to 12, 
5 equals to 4. And always check whether do you need to reject any. Okay, so put back the y back. Not necessarily say it's positive means that it's definitely accept, accepted. Uh. So you have to put back to the original equation. So let's take, let's say y is 12 uh, over here. 2 times 12 is 24. Okay, it's not negative. So it will not cause my equation to be invalid. 12 minus 3 is 9. So it's still positive. So it's valid. So my 12 is accepted. My 4 put it back, 2 times 4, 8 is positive. Uh, 4 minus 3, 1 is still positive, so it's fine. Okay, so that means these two values did not make my logarithm equation invalid. Okay, so because we cannot log negative, huh? so if you suck, you can see that uh, if, the, if they make the 2y or the y minus 3 to become negative, it means that you will have to reject your y value. So in this case, y4 is not accepted. Y is accepted. 4 is accepted. It is not negative. Log 16, 1 is just 0. So why you need to reject? It's still accepted. Huh? So both is accepted. Huh? Okay, so this is for question 2. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the next question. How do you go from line 1 to line 2? What I did was I changed of base. 16, I want to change to base 4. Just now, question 1, I already talked about change of base. Huh? So I changed to base 4, y minus 3 is at the numerator, 16 at the denominator. And why I changed my log 4, 16 is at this side of the red color one. Huh? And this one, the 3, I just bring up because it's power law, that's why it's log 4, 2 to power 3. 2 to power 3 is 8. Okay, I'm going to move on. Yes, okay. Now next, I'm going to write the question now. So I have log 2x plus 2 minus log square root 2x minus 1 equals to 1. So we can see a very disgusting square root 2 there, but it's okay. It's still base 2 because square root 2 is simply just 2 to the power of half. Right? So what we're going to do is, I'm going to change this to base 2. Okay, change this to base 2. So we will have, we are... This one remain the same, no change, no change. This one change to base 2, see ah? Uh, so it's change to base 2, change to base 2, x minus 1 and the numerator, denominator, this one. Square root 2, I'm going to put it as 2 to the power of half. Okay, this one you want, you can change or don't change, so that doesn't matter. So I'm going to change it to log 2, 2 anyway. Okay. Okay, so square root 2 is 2 to the power of half. Ah. You need to know that. Ah. Okay, so again, you can see that this one, power law, I'm going to bring it. So it becomes half at the denominator. So it looks like this. Ah. Log 2, x plus 2 minus log 2, x minus 1 over half minus log 2, 2. This one, I don't need to thumb half throughout. Ah. Take note that this is 1 divided by half. So over here, 1 over half is equals to 2. Uh. Take note. Uh. 1 over half is equals to 2. Okay, press the calculator, you get a 2. So it means that this one, it becomes log 2x plus 2 minus 2. Log 2x minus 1 equals to log 2, 2. And now I'm going to bring the power up. 2 bring up, so it's squared. So it becomes log 2 x plus 2 minus log 2 x minus 1 square equals to log 2 2 so now we are ready to combine this into single logarithm so it becomes log 2 is a minus so it's divide x plus 2 over x minus 1 square equals to log 2 2 so now i'm going to remove the logarithm so now it becomes x plus 2 over x minus 1 square equals to 2. 
over 1. Cross multiply. So I can just put 2x minus 1 square equals to x plus 2. So we have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to x plus 2. 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 minus x minus 2 equals to 0. So I ended up having, uh, let's see, uh, 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals to 0. So you see, usually you all see quadratic equation have three terms, right? Then you all know what to do. But this one got two terms, okay? So when you have two terms, actually you know what you need to do is just factorize it. Okay, so don't panic when you see two terms for quadratic. Ah. You simply just factorize out the x. Okay, factorize out the x. Okay, uh, a lot of times exam come out this question is, huh, two terms, ah? how to solve the quadratic equation? Ah? Because they are always used to seeing three terms and then do the cross method. Then when they see two terms, they don't know what to do. Take note that cross method is a form of factorization. Okay, you're supposed to use factorization to solve. So not just cross method is what is your factorization method. You have to take out common factor. So take out x, you will have 2x minus 5 equals to 0. Okay, so you end up having x equals to 0 or 2x minus 5 equals to 0. x equals to 5 over 2. Okay, you can write it as uh, 2 and a half. You want to put it as 2.5 also can. Then, remember, I need to check whether my x value is valid or not. So, I'm going to check my 0. Put back into the original equation. Uh. If my x is 0, 0 plus 2, positive 2. So, it's still valid. But, when I come to here, I put 0 minus 1, I get negative 1. Then, it will make my whole equation invalid. So, it means that I have to reject this x equals to 0. Okay, also check for 2.5. No, you don't need any calculator at all. So, 2.5. Put it here, 2.5 plus 2 is still positive, so it's valid. 2.5 minus 1 is still positive, so it's valid. So, 2.5 is accepted. Okay, so you reject the 0 and you accept the 2.5. Okay, so in this question, because mainly it's, uh, I want to highlight it's about the square root 2, what do you deal with it? But it's fine, just remember that square root means it's to the power of half. So power law, you bring it down, so it's still half times 1, so it's just half. Then 1 divided by half is just 2, okay? So don't need to panic, and that's why it's just 2, I don't even have to multiply anything throughout. It's just that this one, power law, you got to bring the 2 up, that's why it's here. Okay? Okay, so we are done with question 3. Okay. Okay, so this is actually similar to just now the question 1. Okay, so let's see whether you all are paying attention and see whether you all can help me to do this or not. Okay, they asked me to make y the subject. Okay. So what should we do? You are supposed to make y the subject. What is the first thing you need to do? Change the what? You have base x, you have base y. Okay? So, some people may ask me, how do you know change it to base x or change it to base y? Okay? Uh, why is it that I change to base? Move the 64, then use change of base. Uh, I don't need to change the 64, but I need to change the base y to base x. Okay, so what if I change base x to base y? Okay, what if, huh? what if? 
Let's try it, huh? Let's try it. Okay. So, uh, since I'm trying, I'm going to use pencil, huh? Just now, question one, I did change to base X, right? So now, I'm going to change it to base Y. Let's see what it happens, huh? So this one become log y y over log y x. This one remain the same. So log y y is one, so it become one over log y x is equals to sixty four log y x. A. I want to write y. I'm going to write x with ah. So now I'm going to put cross multiply. So I will have 64 log y x square is equals to 1. So I have log y x square is equals to 1 over 64. Square root both sides. So log y x equals to 1 over 8 or negative 1 over 8. Okay, so why is it? You see, look here. If I make y the base instead of making x a base, you see, later when I'm going to solve, uh, it's difficult for me because I'm supposed to make y the subject. So you see, log y x equals to 1 over 8. If I push up, I get x equals to y to the power of 1 over 8. But you're supposed to make y a subject. Okay, it's not, it's not saying you cannot, it cannot be done. It can be done. So now, you've got to do one additional step, which is to the power of 8 on both sides because I want to get y. Okay, so we will have y is equals to x to the power of 8. Okay, y equals to x to the power of 8. So over here also same thing, so it becomes log y x equals to negative 1 over 8. Uh, say huna, say huna, you don't try to be funny, ah. The question you have been asking me a few times already, okay? And I already answer you through WhatsApp. So don't keep asking me the same question over and over again. Okay? So over here, push up. So it will be x is equals to y to the power of uh, minus 1 over 8. So now I'm going to do to the power time negative 8. Uh. So in the end, I will get y equals to x to the power of minus 8. So y is equals to 1 over x to the power of 8. Okay, so I did the other way around. Just now question 1, I make x the base. This one I try with y the base. It still works, okay? It's just that on this part, it will be very difficult for you to make y the subject. Okay, so I'm going to do back the change to base x. Huh? So it will be log x, y remain. This will be 64 log x x and log x y okay so log x x is one so it become log x y equals to 64 over log x y again cross multiply so i have log x y square equals to 64 square root both sides so i have log x y equals to 8 or negative 8. So in the end, I have log x y equals to 8, push up, y equals to x to the power of 8, log x y equals to negative 8, push up, so y is equals to x to the power of minus 8. Okay, so usually I don't like to leave my answer in negative index, huh? so for me, is I will change it to positive index. Okay. Although the answer put negative, lah, but I always put as positive index. So you also, see both sides also can. Lah. It's just that I feel that you change it to uh, base y, you take slightly two more additional steps. Okay? So that is for question 4. Ah. Question 4.
Okay, let's move on to the next question. So again, this one is similar to just on the previous. Huh? So by now, you all should know that no, today is only under 6. Now it's 1 hour only. Huh? So this one will become log 2x minus 2 minus log 2x plus 1. Sorry, I don't understand Malay. Huh? Okay, is equals to, so number 1 is a log 2, 2. Because we are changing to base 2. Huh? So it will be log 2, 2 plus log 2, 1 over 5. So let's combine to a single logarithm. Okay, so it will be log 2 x minus 2 x plus 1 is equals to log 2 2 times 1 fifth is 2 fifth. Okay. Remove, so this one same thing. So actually this is actually just the same as just on the previous. Huh? So cross multiply, we will have 5x minus 2 equals to 2x plus 1, 5x minus 10, 2x plus 2, 5x minus 2x equals to 2 plus 10, 3x equals to 12, and x equals to 4. Thanks for the rows. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this question here. Okay, I'm going to write out so that it's clearer. Huh? So 2 log 3y minus log y9 is equals to 3. So you're supposed to solve y. Okay, uh, take note that Yes, you can either change to base 3 or base y, but always change the base to be a number. Okay, don't change whereby your unknown is in the base. Okay, because it's very difficult at the last part. So I'm going to change this base y to base 3. So this one I can actually bring up first, log 3y square minus change of base. So this is log 3 and log 3. So my 9 put it at the numerator, my y is at the denominator, equals to 3. Maybe I can change this to 3 log 3, 3. 3 log 3, 3. Ah. Log 3, 3 is 1, so I change to this. Ah. Okay, so now let's take a look. Ah. 9 is 3 square. So it becomes log 3y square minus log 3, 3, 2 over log 3y equals to log 3 27 so 3 bring up so it's 27 3 to the power of 3 is 27 huh? okay so what do we do now so what I can do is uh, let's see uh, okay actually I want to use uh, substitution it's easier so let's change this one to 2 whole first log 3y square minus 2 over log 3y is equals to I'm going to change this back to 3 whole huh? I'm going to change this back to 3 whole later you understand why this one I also can bring it down huh? bring it down so I'm going to let see here huh? I'm going to let log 3y equals to u it's easier when I use substitution so it becomes 2u minus 2 over u equals to 3. Can see that? Change of base is over here. I already stayed here. Huh? Change of base. You can change to any base you want. Let's say log 5, 8. I want to change to base 2. Write out the base that you want. So I write log 2, log 2. The 8 goes to the top. The 5 goes to the denominator. So I make substitution, I let the log 3y equals to u. Okay, so my just now, the, this step here is redundant. Huh? So sometimes you move and then you see that, eh, I think it's easier if I'm going to make substitution because I have log 3y, log 3y. Okay, so I make 2u minus 2 over u equals to 3. So I'm going to time u throughout. So it will be 2u squared minus 2 equals to 3u. 
So it becomes two u square minus three u minus two equals to zero. So I'm going to continue here. So I will have two u plus one u minus two equals to zero. So u equals to negative half or u equals to two. Don't stop there. Ah. You are not trying to solve u. Your task is to solve y. So you got to bring back your log three y. So log three y equals to negative half. Log three y equals to two. So push up. So my y is equals to three to the power of two. So my y is equals to nine. Push up. So my y is equals to three to the power of negative half. So what you're going to do with this one is uh, half is square root. So this become y is equals to one over square root three. Okay, one over square root three. Yeah. And always take note, you cannot leave certs at the denominator. So you need to rationalize. Multiply by square root 3, square root 3. So y is equals to square root 3 over 3. And this is the answer. Okay, Sam, remember to help me to change the answer uh, for this one. Okay. So this question is, I also... Make use of change of base. Okay. And then for this, is I decided to use substitution. Okay, because I can see that I have the same term, log 3y, log 3y. If I'm going to solve this, you see, if I'm going to solve this combined to single, single logarithm, it still can be done, it still can be done. It's just that I find it a bit too tedious. So I might as well just simplify the equation first by replacing log 3y into u first. Then I solve the equation in terms of u first. Until I solve my u already, then okay, I'm going to bring back I'm going to bring back the complex one back to solve it. Solve my y. It's easier this way. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Let's see whether this one is not I'm going to write this back. Okay, this is simultaneous equation. So, we have two equations over here. So, I'm going to write at the side here. Huh? 2 to the power of x equals to 8, 2 to the power of y. So, I want to combine, I'm, I need to change this into a flat uh, unknown x and y. So, I can see I have base 2, I have base 8, I have base 2. This is indices, huh? this is exponential indices. Huh? So, it means that I need to change the 8 to base 2. So it's 2x, 2 to the power of 3, and 2 to the power of y. Yeah? So what I did was I changed the 8 to 2 to the power of 3. And you can see on the right hand side, base 2 multiply, you add the power. So it becomes 2 to the power of x equals to 2 to the power of 3 plus y. So now you have the same base, you can remove the base and say that oh the power is the same. So therefore, x is equals to 3 plus y. So this is my equation 1. So now let's analyze this second equation over here. So I write it here. Huh? So it will be log 2x plus y equals to log 63 minus log 3. So maybe some students will wonder what is LG because just now in front of all the question is LOG, LOG, right? So LG is a special log, okay? So I'm going to just write here in case those who don't know, okay? When you see LG, okay, it is actually base 10, hidden, base 10, uh, hidden, okay? When you see ln, it is log base E. So these two are special, okay? Other base like log 2, la, log 5, la, they don't have a special name. Only log base 10 and log base E has a special name. Hello, okay? So take note, you have to know what is this. Huh? And for those who super don't know about logarithm, take note that in your calculator, you do not have, you see this LOG here? Okay, in the calculator LOG, it doesn't mean it's a, just a log without any base. Huh? In calculator, LOG stands for base 10, understand? Okay, in calculator, LOG stands for base 10. And ln is the ln, which is the base e. Ah. Okay, so let's move on. 
So I'm going to combine, this one is already single logarithm, I can just leave it alone. This one I can combine, same base, and then it's a minus here, become divide. So it is log 63 divided by 3, log 2x plus y. So 63 divided by 3 is 21, so log 2x plus y is equal to log 21. Remove the log, so it becomes 2x plus y, hello, okay, equals to 21. So this is my equation 2. So now you see, I have two unknown x and y, two equations, it's just simultaneous. So since my equation 1 is already x a subject, I'm going to sub 1 into 2. So you will just say sub equation 1 into equation 2. So sub it here, so 2, you place the x, huh? so it's 2, 3 plus y plus y equals to 21. Rainbow, rainbow, 6 plus 2y plus y equals to 21. 3y equals to 21 minus 6. 3y equals to 15. My y equals to 5. So don't stop there because you're supposed to solve your x as well. Huh? So my x will be equals to 3 plus y. So it becomes 8. Therefore, my x equals to 8. My y equals to 5. Done. Okay. So this is just simultaneous equation. It's just that you need to massage the equation into the kind of the equation form that you always see. So you can see that just now the first one, I changed them to the same base, which is 2. Okay. This one, I also changed them to the same... No, uh, this one is already the same base. I didn't even make use of change of base. All I did was I just combined the minus, become a single logarithm, become divide. Okay, and then once a single logarithm, I just remove the logarithm and then it's just 2x plus y equals to 21. Then da 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 da. Okay? Okay, we are at the last question for the day. So, I can take my own sweet time now. So, before, okay, um, like I tell the previous kids, Okay, after this, uh, the next live, I'll be doing a lower sec. Okay, whoever is here listening, if you're in the lower sec or whatsoever, because uh, my intention of doing TikTok live math teaching is to help those who are very weak in mathematics. Okay, for those who are very weak in mathematics. Okay, so uh, I would like to help the lower sec as well, because if I'm going to just keep helping the upper sec, then the lower sec will still be lost. At least if I teach the lower sec, then when they are in school, they understand the lower sec uh, syllabus and work. They can still uh, follow through, you see. Okay? So, uh, and, and throughout the life so far, I've always been hearing a lot of lower sec screaming for help. Okay? <laughs> and then I'm doing AMF sec 3 stuff. So, uh, it's time for me to take turn. Okay? I'm going to switch and teach the lower sec for a few weeks. And then after that, we see how is it and we turn over. Huh? So, and yeah, I just now noticed also that uh, I think my moderator blocked a few few people. Those who are asking for, can I have harder question? Can I have harder question? Can you do harder question or not? Can you do harder question or not? First of all, okay, like I just now mentioned, I want to help those who are weaker, okay? If I'm going to go very hard questions, definitely they will not understand, correct? Majority will not understand. Only minority will be able to understand when I do hard question. But I'm not trying to help the minority. If you are able to do hard question, it means that you are someone who can already pass and do well in mathematics. You don't really need me, lah, huh? You don't need me to save you in any way, okay? So I'm doing average and below kind of a question, okay? Average and below or slightly uh, above average, but not those kind of difficult, uh, impossible kind of a question, okay? And that's why my moderator also get offended. It's like, uh, as if like, wow, uh, we are already giving free math lesson online teaching and then you are like demanding, can you do harder question now? Wow, like I own them like that, correct not? So my moderator, I, I have no control over my moderator. La. They are the one who actually, you know, they decide who to block and who to mute. La. Uh, so that's why just now I see, eh, just now a few were requesting for that and then they got, got blocked for it. La. Okay, so now let's come back to this one. So this one is log square root 2y equals to 3 minus log 2y minus 6. 
So they ask you to express this as a cubic equation. Okay, so sometimes for what at one loop you might not know what to do. Okay. They say, huh, how is it related to cubic equation? It's okay, don't panic. Okay, look at the equation and then see what you can do. Oh, uh, I see square root 2, I see base 2, I see 3. Okay, the first thing and the only thing that you can do is to change them to the same base and then after combine them into a single logarithm. That's always the first thing you need to do. Okay, while you do then you might see some light and know what, how is it linked to cubic equation. So I'm going to change this to base 2, put the fraction, base 2, base 2, y, and this one again 2 to the power of half. This will be 3 log 2, 2. So again, this one is half. Ah, so it's log 2y over half. This one bring up. So it's log 2, 2 to the power of 3 minus log 2y minus 6. So 1 divided by half, just now I already say it's just 2. Ah. So this one becomes 2 log 2y equals to log 2 8 minus log 2 y minus 6 so power bring up so it's log 2 y square <coughs> equals to log 2 this is minus so it become divide 8 over y minus 6 remove the log 2 now so i have now y square equals to 8 over y minus 6 so actually you see it's already by very close to what they're asking for. They're asking for cubic equation. I can really see that it is linked to cubic equation, right? So this is y squared over 1. Just cross multiply. y squared y minus 6 equals to 8. So y cubed minus 6 y squared minus 8 equals to 0. So actually this become a cubic equation and that's it. So this is now a cubic equation. They, don't, they did not ask you to solve the cubic equation. Huh? So don't go and waste your time to go and solve what is y. Huh? They only ask you to express this as a cubic equation. And this is the final answer. Okay? Hmm? Which one I write wrongly? 3 log 2 2. Can change the 3 to 3 log. Why you need to change it to no need? Why so confusing? Remember, just now I mentioned already that the log AA is 1. Okay, always remember log AA is 1. So any whole number you want to change to ba change base very easy one. Let's say for example, uh, for this case because it's 3 whole, so I just put a 3, right? And because the I want to put base 2, so I just put log 2, 2 at the side. Yeah. Then just bring it up. So it's just log 2, 8. Very straightforward. Okay, I don't know why you want to use the like change of base to do whatever you want to do. Lah. You don't understand when it is base root 2. No, you see, okay. Okay, over here, see here. You need to know that square root 2 is equal to 2 to the power of half. Okay, you need to know that. Uh, square root 2 is 2 to the power of half. Uh, this one you have to know. Uh. Cube root is 2 to the power of 1 third. Okay? Uh, this one you have to know. Uh. Okay, then what I did is log. I changed to base 2. Uh, I changed to base 2. Uh. I'm changing this. Uh. So the y will be at the numerator. The square root 2, which is 2 and a, 2 to the power of half, I put it here. Okay? And this is actually just half log 2, 2. The power, I bring it in front, it's actually half log 2, 2. Correct? So it is just half times 1, which is just half. So the denominator, it becomes log 2y over half. And 1 divided by half is 2. So it is 2 log 2y, which is log 2y squared. Understand? Uh, Abdullah, understand?
Yeah, under, can you understand about the square root 2 now? Adulo, you are the one who asked the question. Good, good, good. Okay, so just take note. Uh, so this is how I change the square root 2 to base 2. Huh? Okay, so we are done with the logar some logarithm question here. Huh? GGWP, sure. What is GGWP? What is GGWP? SDM is uh, Malaysia Malaysia math, right? Uh, I don't take Malaysia math. Although I'm going to take IGC, I, IGC SE math in May. So uh, that one is my another account. I have another TikTok account. Good game, well picked. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I have another account which is IGC SE math. Okay. I'm taking the exam at the same time. I'm also sharing that I'm doing uh, uh, sharing some TikTok video on uh, me doing the paper, and then I'll also be doing revision soon. Okay, so for those who are taking IGCSE, okay, if you want to follow my TikTok and other TikTok account, just go and find for at at teacher at teacher Kenji underscore IGCSE math. Okay, that's my the other second account. Okay, so that's all for today. The next live I will have will be on the Wednesday. So I'll be doing uh, lower sec, lower sec uh, math. Most likely I will be doing algebra. Okay, most likely I will just be algebra. For those who are here today, definitely Wednesday will not be interesting for you. Lah, because those are just algebraic manipulation. Okay, it's very simple, those kind of lower sec uh, algebra. Huh? So, uh, for those who are already listening here and doing here, I believe you are already expert in those. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's all for today.